Ah, there's the markets for you. Well, we are really all over the place today. You've been up in the morning, most of the mid-morning in your down, then you, we're up right the way through, hitting a nice little peak up there, around about the 2600, and then falls back, bit of a loss. And now a bus literally bouncing around the bottom. What we're seeing, of course, is very symptomatic of what we've seen in the markets. In fact, back in 1966, ah, Back in 1966, we can always rely on old blue eyes because Frank Sinatra predicted exactly the volatility that we've seen over these last few months. Now, listen carefully, please. Listen carefully as old blue eyes sings about life's ups and downs. Did you hear about it? That's life. That's what all the people say. You're riding high in April, shot down in May. But I know I'm gonna change that tune. When I'm back on top, on top in June, I said that. And that, those three months, elegantly, beautifully sung, that's life. Well, back in April, of course, the Dow was riding high. There were strong earnings. Trade war negotiations had resumed. Brexit deadline had extended. Everything was good. And then May, it all gets shot down. The Dow plunged nearly 7%. There was the return of Tariff Man. And Donald Trump threatened Mexico. Remember, where we, if they didn't do a deal with immigration, the China trade talks fall apart. It's the worst May in a decade. And then... Back into June, where we seem to be just riding high, green across the screen. It begs a question to Paul Monica, who's me. Why have we seen this extraordinary turmoil? There's no rhyme or reason, or is there? No, there is a rhyme or reason. I'll get to that in a second. I, I just want to express my disappointment that we didn't go over the Hudson River to film this segment in Frank's stomping grounds of Hoboken. Hoboken. Be that as it may, thank you for the bell Hoboken. ring. But no, this is all about the Federal Reserve indicating very strongly that they are likely to cut interest rates in July. You do have those geopolitical trade tensions every now and then. It looks like, okay, maybe there'll be a bit of, uh, you know, a detente between the U.S. and China, some sort of, maybe not an agreement, but cooling off of some of the but what, hypertension okay, but, that we had. So that, what, I think, has helped, too. What were they fearful of? if the Fed hadn't stepped in. Because if the Fed g gave that June boost, mm -hmm. you know, what was the predicator to the May fall? Yeah, I think the May fall, I think, came before we were really certain that the Fed was definitely going to be cutting rates in July. Now, I mean, we're at a point where some are arguing that the Fed will cut rates by a half percentage point in July, sort of an insurance cut in case trade talk really deteriorates. But I think in May, you just had, a, obviously, the return of tension with China, but the surprise announcement from the Trump administration that, oh, by the way, now we're targeting Mexico also, that didn't help things. It really made everyone start to wonder just what this White House was doing with regards to trade talks with partners like Mexico and Europe. It, it killed off any you know hopes that the USMCA deal, I think, might be reached in an easy fashion, too. But, but What's the justification for cutting rates when today we got Q1 GDP at 3.1%? Now, it's not 4%, and the prognosis is things are going to get weaker. There, that's, that's it right there. Prognosis is that things will get weaker. The Fed is not backward-looking. If the Fed just rested on its laurels and said, hey, the economy was good, we don't need to do anything, then that makes Jerome Powell's job a lot easier. I mean, you could have a robot do that. He's got to look ahead into that proverbial crystal ball, and it does appear that economic conditions are deteriorating globally, which the Fed does care about. They may not have it as an official mandate to keep the financial markets happy and stable, but you better bet your bottom dollar that that is something that they are thinking about. So obviously that's another factor at play as well. And they probably made a mistake by, cutting, by uh, raising rates the last time they did it. That's something that the market right. was not happy so, about, the president wasn't happy about it. I think Powell, if he could, maybe they would take that cut back and they're so, that hike back, and they're probably going to do that now. Are we talking, to finish off with Frank Sinatra, yes, sir. are we talking about Lady Luck 
blowing on the dice, on other guys' dice, and seeing what happens. It is possible. I obviously, luck be a lady from Guys and Dolls. I think that is an apt song for this environment that we're in right now. You could argue High Hopes is another one. Oh, yes. We are here in New York, New York, after New all. Absolutely. Yes. New York, New York. On that moment, thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Dump.